and welcome to Morbid Commentaries, where your hosts, I'm Kathy Dragon. And I'm Corn the Cat. And today we are playing Spyro the Dragon, a game near and dear to both of our hearts. Let's start a new game. I'll give you the controller. In the world of dragons. Okay, rolling. Oh! It's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganor? Oh, I've seen our old dragon. Now, I yeah. understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Norse is a simple. Hello. One of the voices of the dragons is Clancy Brown, who also voices Mr. Krabs. No threat to the dragon king. No threat! Love that. Yeah. I know, um, me and Taylor watched this TV show called Veronica Mars, and he made an appearance in that, and that's when she told me. He was the voice of Mr. Krabs or whatever. Yeah. His voice is so deep. Yeah, it really is. Like, this 80s movie I really like with him and it. it's called Highlander. Have you heard of it? I think I've heard of it. Yeah. It ha he plays a, man, a bad guy called the Kurgan, and you could tell it's his voice. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after you. And Spyro's voice in this game is uh, Carlos Alizraki, who also voices, I'm not sure if you've seen Rocco's Modern Life. I'm not. Yeah, he, he plays Rocco, and the um, when this game came out, he was also um, the Taco Bell Chihuahua. Oh, is there some sort of setting about this camera angle? Yeah, let me see. Do you want passive or active? Let me try active. Oop. I think this homeworld though reminds me um Is that better? Yeah, I think so. I used to go to this wait a minute. I used to go to this place when I was older to get my haircut where they had like a PlayStation set up to I guess distract kids while they were getting their haircut or whatever. In a hair salon? Yeah. That's odd. Yeah, it was it was weird, but it was <laughs> it was really cool and they had this game there, so I remember I, I would always like start off again on the uh, home world. Yeah. Whenever I would get my hair cut. Never had this game growing up. I um I always had um I had a PlayStation hey, demo disc. It was uh, for the PS2, and it had I think it was Spyro Enter the Dragonfly on it as one of the games you could play, and I always used to play that one peaks, instead. Mm -hmm. into and um. Only Spyro, like the only full Spyro game I ever had was um, on the Game Boy Advance. It was either Spyro Season of Ice or Spyro Season of Flame, I think that's what it was called. And it was like a duo cartridge with um, Crash Bandicoot, a huge adventure. And that was a really fun game, both of them. I think I played the Spyro game more than Crash because uh, that Crash game was kind of frustrating. Yeah. I think I think that Crash Bandicoot is probably a bit harder than Spyro the Dragon overall. Yeah, probably. I, I never really got into Crash much as a uh, as a kid. I, I did a little bit of the the Nitro Racing one. Yeah, Crash uh, Crash Team Racing, or was it Crash Nitro Kart? Maybe both. Because Crash Team Racing was for um, the original PlayStation. And I think Crash Nitro Kart was on the PS2. I want to say it was Nitro Kart then that I played. Did you ever have a PS1 growing up? Or yeah, I did. Cause I, I remember um, getting super upset with a broke when it broke because I thought I wasn't oh. gonna be able to play the Spyro games anymore. But then they got me a PlayStation 2 that was like uh, backwards compatible or whatever. I believe all model PS2 games, yeah, PS2s think, are backwards compatible. I think they were. And that's why I got really shitty when I got my PS3 oh. and it wasn't backwards compatible. Yeah, because... that's actually um, 
I was when I was shopping around for PlayStation consoles uh, a few years ago, and before I picked up this PS One, I was think my parents were thinking, oh, well, should we buy a? Because our PS Two had died, it was in um, mm-hmm. it had some water damage to it, and uh, we were wondering, should we get it replaced? Like, um, should we get a PS Three or should we get just a PS Two? And uh, we found out that. Like only early model PS3s are backwards compatible, and even then, those models are s- slowly dying off because it, their um, disk drives are crapping out. This jump is infinitely harder in the Reignited trilogy because I just oh, got yeah, it, that. I just got it first try there, but yeah, this jump even in this version, this jump kind of gives me problems. Oh, but you, yeah, you, missed, you missed Dragon. You missed Delvin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know you should get a PS1. Because the shop I went to, I got it for like 30 bucks. I have a PS2. Oh. Yeah. I see it. It's right there. No, that's actually Josh's. Mine's in the room. And in a box. It's just going for <laughs> right now. Yeah. We should play some PS2 games sometime. Yeah. I used to love this one called, um... Uh, I think it was just called Rampage, but basically... Oh, yeah, it's, um, based on the arcade game. Yeah. Yeah, I... That was, uh, one of the ones that I was super shitty I couldn't play anymore, and I got the PS3 because it wasn't backwards compatible, because by that point I'd already, like, I'd played Spyro or whatever, moved on from that, but... Was it, I can't remember the name, was it like Rampage World Tour or Rampage 2000 or something like that? I want to say it might have just been Rampage, and that oh. was it, but that, I might be wrong. Because I think there's a version on the Nintendo 64 that had like a specific name to it. I can't remember. I'll put up some graphic. PS1 growing up. I always had a PS2. It's a little That's the thing about this game is very generous when it comes to getting lives. Yeah, it really is. And it's like really hard to game over in this game. It's like you either have to have like no idea what you're doing to game over, or you're you have or you're trying to get a game over possible to get a game over. Yeah. To run out of, um, if you run out of lives. It, ju- it just says game over, and it starts you right back where you started. Like, not right back at the beginning, but oh. it, st- it starts you right back at the beginning of the level. Okay, wait, no, yeah. I think that did happen to me once in the third home world, I think it was, because there was... I was trying to get to this place where I thought there'd be gems, but oh, like loop, yeah. I looped around that, or whatever, and it ended up being like the starting place because I was being stupid. Was that the Magic Crafters world? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one's a bit of a pain. Now you get to decide. Um, I think we're going to just like, if we clear a level, I think we should decide like what level the next person should play. Do you think that's fair? Yeah. What, uh, so what level do you want to... Or, or wait, what? I'm picking the level you put? Yeah, you pick the okay. level. Just to You're keep, us, this one. keep us on our toes. So we can completely screw each other over. It's like, <laughs> I cleared a level here, play the flying level. Mm. I actually don't mind the flying level, but I say that now, but with the PlayStation 2 controller, the oh, controls yeah. might be a little bit different. Piss me off. Um, the flying levels are alright, except for uh, Wild Flight. That one is a pain in the ass. Oops. It's a good thing I just played this and completed this like not that long ago. It was like less than a month. Actually, yeah, I just completed this less than a month ago, so my memory is so fresh on where everything is.
When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, oh, hey. you're saving your it's the crew. guy from the beginning. That could be useful if you run into trouble. All the dragons in this game look pretty much like have they have like maybe three fun. models or two or three models that they've switched between yeah. for each of the dragons. It's not like the reignited where they uh, have different and unique um, models for each of the characters. I remember there's one though in the um I think it's the fourth home world, it's it's just like really fat and like laying down. It's it's very different from the other yeah. ones. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's in one of the levels. Some something where like the grounds after you. I think it is. Oh yeah. What's the last time you played this uh, version of the game? So I remember getting it. I got it for Christmas um, years ago when I bought the PlayStation Two off of a friend. So I think I played a little bit then, but then I just I started to get into uh, FPS games, so I got distracted, so I didn't play it much. I've been like four years. Um, I never got into first-person shooters. I always prefer like. 2D or 3D platformers. I think that it's just more engaging. If you go back, there's I think this is an area over there where you can like jump off that ledge. Oh yeah, I'll get that in a bit. Oh yeah, because don't you have to have a key to... I think so. Can't remember. Or maybe that's where the key is. I don't remember. Did I get that gem? Mm -hmm. Okay, I did. I think the camera in this game is pretty good considering it's like 1998 yeah. because I was playing Rayman 2 um, earlier like a few days ago the camera in that game hasn't aged very well yeah but then again a lot of like early 3D games it's hard to go back to um, some of the cameras right it's just mainly because they didn't know what they were doing <laughs> There is one. There is one game from around this time I've always wanted to play, and that's Super Mario 64. This is like the PlayStation version of that game. Yes. Hey, it's the pretty colored guy. I think. Yeah. Roll, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. You know, like all the hints, <laughs> all the tips and tricks. How many gems are in this? 200, okay, that's not too bad. No. Not as bad as some of the later levels, which I think have like 500? Some of them have 500, or does it cap at 400? There might be a couple of 500. Yeah. Or there's Nasty North's Treasure, which has like 2,000 gems in it. Yeah. That one's a special unlock. Beating game on 100%. Oh, I'm not missing any gems. I have to say, after playing this game and going back to, like, Spyro game I played on Game Boy Advance, it got the sound spot on for that one. The sound? Yeah, it's like, it sounds exactly how um, it does in this game. Like, the gem? Yeah, all the gems and all the sound effects are, like, spot on. And I think that um, the, uh, right, the, I'm not sure if they sprite they used for Spyro is uh, just um, a sprite version of this model, like they took the like the actual model and like used those, like photographed those and used them as sprites or what they did, but it looks pretty close. Right. Let's see. Here we go. I'll get that. In oh, that there's was, a yeah, case. I should probably get that now. Those. 
then go down here. Hey, it's a cool boy dragon. See, did I miss any? I did, I missed three. <clears throat> Gavin. Watch the dragonfly spiral. His color indicates his power. Yep, I know. <laughs> I think it'd be fun to speedrun this game, like one of these days. Yeah. See where the where is the missing gem? Probably up on the top ledge if I were to if I were to that new boy. You talking speedrun just to like complete it, or like speedrun 100% of it? Um, either or. Yeah. Like in any, I think both like in any percent or. Wait a minute, did I see that guy? Yeah. I think I did. Yeah. I forgot he was in this level. I thought he was over there for some reason. I feel like I'd get, I'd get tilted trying to speed run 100% it because I'd be going through and I'd be missing gems and crap. But yeah, I feel like it would be pretty speed run. That pretty fun to speed run at any percentage. Yeah, speed runs are fascinating to me. It's like um, it's sort of like an art to it. Because yeah. you have to know exactly like where to go and what to do. There's that fucker. Come here. Yeah, I've definitely played the first one enough to oh, shit. be able to speedrun at least the first few homeworlds pretty successfully. Yeah. The second one, not so much. The third one, probably the same. I haven't played the others in the trilogy. Here we go. I have the other... The two in the box where I've got the PlayStation 2. Oh. We should play there. Oh, then, yeah. We should play them sometime. Yeah, we definitely can. Right, and is that. That is everything. Yep. I think I'm going to have you play... Oops. Always cracks me up when he face plants into a, into a wall. Just the thud sound effect. Yeah. I'm gonna have you play Town Square. Town Square it is. Yeah. I think that's it for our first episode. So next episode we'll go to Town Square.